Hello people, this is Self Tuts and we are continuing our series on understanding the concept of Express and in this video we will see how to write your own locking middleware in Express. So in previous video we have understood the concept of middleware in Express that how important it is and how middleware works. In this video we will see how to write your own logging middleware. So in previous video we have also seen the example of logging middleware that if I am having multiple routes, let's say get route, post route, get user, get user by ID, post user, delete user, but I want a single logging middleware which will log the data that from where the request is coming, what is the IP of the request, what is the URL of the request, then we can create a logging middleware. So we'll create a logging middleware in this video. So middleware is a function that accepts three argument or which has access to three argument which we have seen in previous videos also. So you need to keep in mind that middleware is a function that accepts three argument. The first one is the request, the second one is the response and the third one is the next. So this is the signature of a middleware function. So all the logic related to that middleware will come inside this function only and here is where you write your application logic that what are the things that you need to perform. So middleware is a function that accepts three argument, request object, response object and next function. So we'll use the express app instance. So when we attach a middleware or when we create a middleware in the request response cycle on a express app instance, then it is available for the whole app, which means if I'm attaching a middleware to the express app instance, then it will be available for every route. So when we use express instance, then the middleware is for whole app. So to attach a middleware to the express app instance, we'll use the use method of express app instance. So we'll use, if you go to the documentation of express app instance, then you will find this dot use method, which is used to create or used to attach middleware to the express app instance. So we'll call this express app instance app dot use and the name of the middleware function or the function can be written inside here only. So to create a middleware or to attach a middleware on express app, we'll first create the middleware function and then we'll attach that function to the express app using app dot use. So we'll write our logging middleware, which will be something like this that will say app dot use and the middleware function which is anonymous function here which accepts three argument request request response and next and we'll just write a single thing that is console dot log request ip is request dot ip so we have seen in previous videos that inside the request object we can access the ip address from where the request is coming by using request dot ip and then we'll call the next function because we need to carry on the request response life cycle that if this middleware has been successfully in, uh, uh, run or it has successfully executed then the request and response cycle should proceed that is my request should proceed to the next middleware the most important thing you, that you need to uh, keep in mind that placement of middleware while app initialization is very important so how the middleware come in the request and response cycle is very important. So suppose your request start here and the response ends here. So based on where you place your middleware, suppose you place at the uh, at here, then the middleware will be executed first. And if you place at the last, then it will be executed at the last. So placement of middleware while app initialization is very important. So now we'll go to our Linux box and we'll create a logging middleware so we are inside this express app project that we are creating in this series and inside that these files are present which you have seen previously so i'll open my vim which i use as a default code editor then i'll go to app.js and now the request starts from here so this is the app initialization process so if i create a middleware here it means all this get and post route will have a will be executed after this middleware and if I create a middleware here then the middleware will be executed after the get and post route so I am interested in creating a middleware before so I will create logging middleware so what I will do I will use the 
app instance and on that i'll use the function app.use so this function app.use accepts the middleware function which is a function in return and this accepts the argument that is request response and then next sorry so this accepts the argument that is response res request response and next and will do our business logic here so we are currently interested only in one thing and that one thing is console.log uh, ip address is and we'll say what is the ip address so we'll say it is present in my request object and that is request.ip so you can go to the express documentation for this request object and you can see all the parameters that are present now the important concept here is that if you don't write the next function here then what will happen my response the request and response cycle the request will come to this middleware but it will not be passed to the next routes because i have not used the next function so if my middleware runs successfully then i need to call this next function so that the request and response cycle can continue so i have written my middleware on the express app instance so for this app instance uh, it will be available this middleware will be available for this route also and this route also we'll see in subsequent videos that what are different type of middleware that we can create so currently we are creating a global uh, middleware which uh, we are attaching on the app instance so it is available for available for all the app means for the entire app so what this middleware will do it will run and it will intercept the request response and next and it will write or it will console log the request.ip but in real world web app you will write what is the ip address what is the resource url what is the authentication parameter that has been received so that after some time if you want to debug your request that where the error occurred you can go to your log file and see all the logs so this is all we created uh, the middleware for logging and now we'll go to this express server we'll close it and then we'll again start it using node app.js now i'll try to go to my postman client which is present here and through postman we can directly send a rest request or request or http request to our express server so we are here at our post and here the ip address of our linux box is 172.18.0.100 it is running on port 3000 and the endpoint is user so i'll send this request and this has given me a successful message of code user created but if i go to my linux box you can see the ip address is written here that is 172.18.0.1 so this is the ip address from where for my host machine that is windows machine from where i'm hitting the request this is the ip for my host machine and I'm writing that where inside here. Now see, this is the uh, this is the uh, request for post. Now what I'll do? There is another request that is present on my Express app, which you can see here. That is get request with username, username, age, and user age. So if I'll hit this request, so this request says what? This is my IP address. This is my port and my endpoint is user with a name of John and age of 25. So if I'll hit this. This will give me the username as John and user age as 25. And if I'll go to server logs, then I can see the IP address has been again printed. If you want to see again, I'll do some enter here. And then again, I'll send this response. So if I hit for get, I'll get the IP. Again, if I'll go to post, then you can see the IP address is printed. So you can see how beautiful the code is that for all the endpoint, you have written a single line of code that is here that you have created a middleware and this is on app instance so it is available for all the route or for the whole app and for doing the logging thing you can write a single function here and you can log everything here so this is the concept of middleware and we have successfully created a logging middleware in our express app so hope you like this video if you like my channel please subscribe to it and if you like this video please give a thumbs up Thank you.